This video is to show you how to update your benefit plans for a new enrollment season or for your new benefit plan year. So I've logged in as Kathy Watts, the Director of Payroll and HR at our demo company. And all Kathy has to do to update her plans is go to either search box and type in plans. <clears throat> and she's going to choose this one that says plans, profiles, policies, and benefits. Here is where she can find any of the plans that are uh, currently active or even past plans. And by either clicking on the pencil or on the blue words for the plan, she can drill down on the plan and make updates to each of the rate tables or each of the coverages. So as I scroll over to the right, you've got the different coverage levels. Typically, this is the only thing you're gonna have to update. And so by doing that, all you have to do is click on a plus sign to add a new row. You can see we've added a new row here. And so we'll just add one for the following year. And that gives us, this is our start date for the plan and the deductions. And in the pencil, we'll put in the new premium and the new employer amount. When you save this and you save the page, then Scissortail will calculate the employee premium per month and then it will look at the employee's pay periods and will reduce it and calculate the per pay period amount that will show up on the employee record. Repeat this step for every coverage level. and save the page. If there are other things that need to be updated, <clears throat> um, you can do that as well. If you scroll down the page, you can see that we've got our waiting period that can be updated if needed. You can, uh, that this first waiting period was for the deduction when the deduction starts. This waiting period widget is for when the coverage starts you can update any of the uh, carrier information, and you can even upload um, new fact sheets for that particular benefit so that when the employees go through the open enrollment process or through a new higher enrollment process, they'll see all the supporting documentation there. All right, that's all there is to updating uh, benefit rates for the following year. If you have questions, definitely put in a support ticket to CS3 Technology and we'll get you taken care of.